come here. Give me your face. No. Oh. oh, oh. Welcome all back to the channel, Fishing Freaks. Thank you for being here and thanks for subscribing to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why riprap can be your best friend in the fall and winter and really save the day. Before we get going, huge mega sale announcement. Greatest Guggen month ever going on right now, month of November, guys. GuggenSquad.com. Log on, you're gonna see new sales popping up every week. Uh, from our new jackets, vests, hats, um, performance wear, all new stuff. Tackle Tuesdays, we're doing our biggest sales ever this month. And you can use my promo code LFG and get an additional 10% off when we're doing these sales, except for Tackle Tuesdays. Tackle Tuesdays are big. We do a lot of buy one, get one freeze and all that stuff. But you're gonna see all new merch dropping. We've got limited quantities that we're dropping during these times. So get your hands on it now. If you wanna do your Christmas shopping now, go ahead or just stock up on the latest swag gear. Go ahead and do it. GuggenSquad.com, link down below. So our senior head of product at Guggen Squad, he gives me a ring this morning and he says, dude, it is a nasty weather day. Where are we going? We gotta, we gotta go do something. We gotta fish somewhere. I've got a, a bad weather fishing bug. We just gotta do it. Cause on bad weather days, it sucks being out there, but that's usually when the big bass get activated, low pressure, you got the chance to catch a big one. So I said, all right, I'll be your huckleberry. Let's go up and let's do some fishing. So we're going to our nemesis, my nemesis lake that uh, I've never caught good fish at until today. And the reason why we caught them is because, well, number one, low pressure, uh, feeding time, and then also because we went to an area that is just known for catching bass in the fall and winter and early spring when it's cold, when it starts cooling down, and that is riprap. You can do this on any lake, any creek, river that has this stuff. Bass just congregate to it in the fall. I mean, it, it, shad, it, they're chasing shad and all that stuff, but there's something about riprap. It holds little crawfish, it, it, holds, it holds bluegill, holds shad, it holds all that stuff, but for some reason, they really like to get on it. So, we're gonna take you to the rep wrap. Storms are coming in. Let's go catch some fish. There it is, look at that sea. The sea of trucks, they're invisible. You can't see them. Trucks and boats. There's just one, the silver bullet. The silver bullet and his buddy, Mr. Trey. My tournament partner. And uh, you know, he got a wild hair today. He called me, he's like, dude, big weather change time to grind let's let's spin some reels around i was like i'm your man let's go uh once a quarter i like to come out to lake ray roberts and check to see if it still sucks or not for me personally there are some huge bass in here that are caught every year and uh that does have some grass in it and it's got the right elements for the fall where you think frog spinnerbait um vibrating jig and what else am I missing? Jerk bait, rattle traps, all that kind of stuff up shallow. It's got all those elements. We just need to put together. Got a little bit of wind, big cold fronts in the 50s. Um, we're gonna go see. We're gonna give it a check. So we're gonna do it proper. We got a bunch of rods rigged up and we're gonna, we're gonna throw them moving baits. That's, that's pretty much what we need to do. So boat's unhooked, ready to go my friend. All right, let's get it dude. I can't, I can't even steal that from Louisiana chef guy. I apologize. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the damn program. Oh, yeah, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're already jerking. I'm jerking. It's pretty much perfect fall dam conditions. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever fished about. I haven't either. I really wanted to. We've got about three miles of it. Surely we can get a bite 
somewhere. I need to fish all three. Oh God, them. dude! I just latched on to one. Yeah. Yeah. Eight big pound hybrid. Bill. What are you seeing? I just feel like I should be grinding that big square bill. Okay, I like it. It's got spark. Oh. Seriously? Yeah. Should we uh, should we get out of here? No. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what? You scaring me, bro? That just. You got shot? Twice. You sure of it? Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm I don't scared. Know what to do either. I'm scared. Dude, it has not lightning to once. No, I know. It's just weird. It's all right. Shut her down. We'll be all right. You're just freaking me the hell out I right guess now. It just happened twice. When I put my rod I heard there. it. You heard it the yes. second time, right? I heard it zap you. <laughs> all right. So, uh, core candle. Should be okay, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, if we're gonna go, it's a good way to go, you know? I don't think there's like lightning in the forecast, so. I don't, no, not at all. Just don't point your rod straight in the air. I haven't heard a rumbling. So, for those of you that don't know. What's up? How you doing? For those of you that don't know, there is a electrical a uh, phenomenon that happens on boats sometimes where charged particles in the air will enter a graphite rod and will tingle your hand uh, giving you a sort of a shock and it's an indicator that lightning is building uh trey just experienced that and it's scary it's one of the scariest things <laughs> ever like in the boat uh i don't like it don't like it at all but uh, it's, it's happened to me two times in my entire life, and both times I immediately like got down on the floor and was just like, what do you know, I do? We can always hide, on, hide under the pump house if we need to. I think if Lightning wanted to, it could, it could just reach in there. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw your dip can on the floor. I was like, I don't want anything metal in my hand. There you go, hooked up. Cranker, dude. Spotted bass. There's a bee. Spotting crow? No. Large mouth. There we go. First damn fish. First damn fish on the dam in the rain. Yes, sir. A little square biller. That was a good call. How far? How far up there was he? Pretty close. Pretty shallow. I think we're gonna get ahead. We're going to get like a five. I mean, it's just all that the kind plans, of day. On a day like today, this is a pretty good one. We're getting actually a little break here in the rain. Now, twitch them around a little bit. Oh, God. Why aren't they getting it? Oh, yeah. Somebody else definitely. Small. Where is that one? Finicky. Oh, God. oh, right by the boat. Jeez. He must have chased it out. That's a better one. I'm going to just throw out these posts real quick. Yeah, I can see a big pump like that. There we go. A little 14 incher. Tournament saver. Mm -hmm. Not to show these fish what a spin rod can do. Dang. God dang. They're just smacking it. Yeah. Got him. There you go. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. You come, you come back off. on him? Came up? Yeah. Dang. Ooh. Spot. Spot. Spotty bass. Spotted. Hit you out. Way out. Once it get it, get it. Oh. Well, yeah, I switched up to a little crankbait. I had one jump off. I think it was a spot. Ooh. Yeah. Wait. 
Yeah. Something good. serious? Good. There we go. Rogue five pounder. Good. Here we go. Good. Told you, dude. Rogue big boy. Good. Man. Here it comes. Good. Man. Oh, I can see those head shakes, man. Big. Man. Got this. Big. Man. There we go. See? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Holy crap, it's hooked in the top of the head. That bum knee. Come here, just give me your face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's what we call it. Dad, man. Ray Robert. Hey, bro. buddy. Hey, that's a big old six pounder, man. Hey, shit, you up, man. Oh, man. Woo! Hey, once well, a quarter, you come check it for them bad boys. Yeah, like good. That. That's a picture fish. He actually ate it. He got the second hook right in the knee the head. Lassoed himself. Woo! Two, three, give me one big hole. There she blows right there. Oh, son, that's a big boy. Heck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. See, you had a feeling. You're like, man, it's a nasty day. I just I just need to come give her a dangle. Like hooky from the office? <laughs> oh, yeah. Makes it worth it. He was uh he was up there. up there. It's good to see. Like two cranks. Like thought thought I was hung. Dude, I knew it, man. I knew we were gonna get one of them rogue big boys. Now that I know, confirmed, it's got big boys running around. <clears throat> A little more meat on this. Funny, yeah, meat on. no bait on the bank. No, he was fat. Yeah. These are healthy fish. Come on, Sheila. Eat my cricket. Oh goodness! Did Snickerdoodle? Yeah, I did. Mm, may or may not be on. <laughs> oh, there we go. A little big. Oh, yeah. Big boy. Dud. Big boy. Dud. Big boy online. Here we go. The head shakes. Foul weather. Damn fish. It's catching big boys. Big boys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh, gosh. Look at this fatty magoo. Uh oh. That's just a big old large head. I'm trying to lose it for you, sorry. Whew, son, look at that. That's a slime that, that, bastard. That is a slime ball. Holy cow. Slime ball five pound Magoo. Whew. Well, had to be done. That fish is. He's that is, man. We've got a six and a five pounder five pounder this thing is gooey i'm gonna put it back in the water but man two rogue huge fish today gotta love it i'm gonna sniff him still a little sour a little sour <laughs> still good right. got something going on with the slime coat got a, got a slime coat issue yeah see you fella get that slime coat back working yeah it's a weird see that like, weird film he had on him yeah. that is uh two of the biggest fish I've ever caught out here <laughs> and it was in like 10 minutes of each other I know so on the down I this is like the most win this is the winningest day I've ever had out here. <laughs> I think this is this is shaping up to be my best player Robert's day as well and uh if we can if we can fill out a limit this whole bit of banner day for me. there's no one else out here stop stomping yeah you get chomping a little bit oh ho ho and I, oh. Hey, just bite, just boo, ba doom. Slap me, man. Slap y'all. The last one was like yours, like felt like I was on a rock, you know, yeah. kind of loaded, loaded up a little bit. And... Oh gosh! Ate it coming off the rock. Yeah, well, I had a couple cranks off. Come off, little guy. I, man, I was I was gonna pick that up. I was like, that's. I wonder if he'll come all the way out and get it. Let's 
too much chop for us. Yeah. Major chop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Yes, it is. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, that was like a three pounder, right? Yeah, it was all over it. That was that was cool. Just saw a shadow underneath. It's like a shark. Shocking is they didn't suck that dirt bait into their throat. Yeah, Just the way back to the boat. Man. Yeah. I've never been in, I've never been in any of this stuff. Like oh, you just had one right there. Oh, oh got him. <laughs> that was freaking cool. I got one too. Double. Double that, oh, dude. Oh, Oh my god! Oh my god, I got another one! Oh, really? Oh! Oh gosh, it was a good one! Oh god! Ah! Big spot of that. He got another one with him. Oh. What a treat, dude. That was freaking awesome. Maybe, the, maybe there's a few. Look at the gut! The gut on that spotted bass! That's one of the best god, Texas it. spots I've seen in a while. Literally had another one trying to eat it out of his mouth. Golly, man, that was. That was cool. Maybe there's a couple jammed here at the end with the wind blowing. Transition area too. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him trying to get it. Just connected. That was cool. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Gordito. Look at that blue on his scales. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's like a little Kool-Aid blue there. Magic blue. What a banner. A banner Ray Roberts day. So, this is the best hour of fishing I've ever had out here. <laughs> For sure. Unbelievable. This is perfect weather for the big obnoxious top water. Oh, 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 yep, yep, yep. Get it. Get it, dude. I gotta throw a crankbait behind oh, it. God. Oh! Clobbered it. Hooked up. right here, this little corner. Got him. Let's do it. Let's give her a pause. Let's give her one of them long pauses. Oh, that's a good one. Is that a big spot? Large now. Oh, big spot. Big spotted bass. Good gosh, man. Look at that hog jammer. Dude! That's like pushing a three pound spot. Yeah. Look at the absolute girth. Hell of a fish, dude. Banner Roberts Day. We are. Yeah. I mean, we got. Like an 18 pound bag. Yeah. Two, two big spots that would make the creel, probably. <laughs> That's crazy. We got on un, unspot locked. Get us back back on it here. You got unspot locked? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, I'm hooked up. Got him on the jerk bait. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's in the motor. Oh, God, he come off. No, I still got him. Dude, I don't know. Are you? Large mouth. <laughs> what a day. Just, day for buds. Just creaming them. You got it. You got it on the outside. We could, we could keep 15 incher. Woo, son. Get them on jerk baits, crank baits. 
Jitter bugs, jitter bugs. You, don't get, you don't feel cold and wet when you're just like no. Slamming them. No, it's miserable out here, y'all. But this is cool. Um, yeah, I was seeing some fish in those rocks. I was thinking like, it'd be nice if I could get down there, grind them. But I'll just suspend a jerk bait over them, see if they come up. And that one, that one actually fell for it. All right, y'all. Big rain. Big rain day. Not. Uh, not a fun weather day, but fishing day, best I've ever had out here. Switching up on our second pass with a spinner bait, a little three quarter ounce, we're just trying to get it down there in these rocks and noticed a lot of them are kind of glued to it. We'll come up for top water, which is interesting, but they're, the way they're sitting is like kind of hugging the bottom. Well, every once in a while I touch one of the live scope and they're crawling on the bottom. Yeah. Wally bammed. Big chunky. One more big one. Just digging. Come here, Samson. Big headed. Just a big headed ninny muggin. Uh, uh, my knee! Oh man, it actually took me! Oh, took me. <laughs> I got him! Oh god, what a solid unit! Uh, got him on the old spinner bug. I think that means you got like a 20 pound bag. I think so. Solid, delectable guy there. Woo! Hey, bud. Yeah, he was junky. It is a nasty son of a gun out here. I'm so glad it came. Worth it. My hands are pruny, but these bass, during this last couple hour sesh, have been chunk. All right, back nice and dry here in the fish cave. The weather got real nasty there. Uh, but we had a good time. I know I couldn't break out the big cameras and all that stuff, but hopefully you guys saw uh, the big bass latching on and the, the key lures the things that were working are your typical fall shad type stuff, you know your crankbaits spinner baits your bladed jigs uh, jerk baits anything that's imitating a shad that seemed to be key. And one stipulation that I'll put on fishing riprap is I like for wind to be on it this time of year. So uh, in the early spring when you got calm days and you've got sun, uh, the fish will kind of gravitate towards the rocks in that way. But right now it's like the wind is pushing on the rocks, stuff is stirred up um, and bass feed on that. And it, either the day of, like the wind's kicking up and it's blowing, or the day before. So if you had, you know, like we had a northwesterly wind, or actually a northeasterly wind, and it was blowing on that uh, the last two days. Um, so it made it even better. It was, it was really blowing around. Uh, it was a little choppy, but, you know, still okay enough where we could get out there and fish it. So even if you got a calm day, uh, just look at the winds the day before. If you had wind blowing on the riprap area, go check it out. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in to another outdoor episode. And we are going to be camping on the river next. Do a little family camping, do a little fishing. So stay tuned for that. And smash that like button for staying out on the water during the pouring rain and almost a, maybe even a lightning strike. We had a little lightning situation happening, stuck it out and caught some big ones, y'all. So make sure to visit GoogSquad.com for all the sales this month, November, and I'll see y'all on the next one. God bless you.